Hey friend, Tyvin's back with another Xbox game for you. Dead Cells. This is on the Xbox store right now for 25 bucks. This is an indie game made by, developed by Motion Twin, and as of this recording, this is my indie game of the year, 2018. This game is beyond amazing. So usually when I make these YouTube videos, well, every time I make them, I play them from fresh, but I started this one and it is beyond amazing. It is beyond amazing. So I'm gonna show y'all, we're gonna start a new save file just so we'll, so everybody can see it from fresh. So this is a roguelike game where you go as far as you can go and then you die and then you try it again and you die. It's the, what this game is, is if, if Dark Souls and Castlevania had a beautiful baby and they named her Dead Cells, this is, this is Dead Cells. This game is amazing. It's a side-scroller Dark Souls. It is so damn good. All right, so I'm just going to show you like you've never seen it. How about how like I've never played it? Oh, what is this? A jump button. Uh, she's going to talk to you. Aren't you the hell guy? You don't have a face. He doesn't talk. He just points and does thumbs up. It's kind of funny. So every time you play this game, it's different. That's what makes it great. You you try to make these epic builds and get to, get to the end of the level. I'm gonna show you. We'll just be done talking to her. I'm not sure why that happens. My controller is definitely not disconnected. Yes. Alright. So we're gonna pick this bow and arrow up. We can pick a bow and arrow up or we can pick a shield. So a shield you can hit block like this. You can parry. Except that's a parry thing right there. So as soon as they attack, you can parry it and do a little damage back to them. If you look, it absorbs 75% of damage. Uh, you hold to absorb damage, tra tap to parry, and block all damage. So you can parry to block everything. You have different shields, but of course we don't use a shield. We're going to use this bow, which is 100 DPS. Ammo comes back after enemies kill. Cannot be sold. This is their basic weapons. Rusty sword, beginner's bow, prisoner's collar, which is like our amulet for in jail. So this is what you start the game. This is how you start it, like this. So you just jump around here and shoot these things. And you see how far you can get. Also, this is a randomly generated game. Every level you play, every time you play it, it's randomly generated. So that's what makes it great. You see my bow and arrow. You, you can see the you can see the the arrow count going down. I got two arrows, but you get them all back. You see when I shoot my I mean, you see how it goes away and they'll come back. Watch. So over time they come back. So. This one's got six shots. As you can see, it's got a six in it. So, uh, we have LB, which is nothing right now. I have L trigger and right trigger, which is nothing right now. We'll go over all that as we play. But if you hit the uh, the back button, here's your map. So you can look at the map, kind of see where you're at. These are teleports, just like Castlevania. Just like another game that's amazing. So here's something we can tickle. Oh, can we, we can even tickle it? Okay. So, oh, there it goes. All right, so that's another thing that's amazing about this game is we can't go up there yet because we need to activate that rune and it's a vine. So we need to get this thing called a, rhyme, a vine rune, which you don't know anything about if you just play it. So as you notice, I'm collecting money and I'm also collecting these blue things. Ah, I try to dodge it. These blue things, if you look at the bottom right by my map, I've got 974 gold and I got five blue coins. Well, those blue symbols are cells. And what we want to do is once we beat this level, we can turn those cells into this collector who collects cells and we can upgrade and buy stuff for future runs. But if you, I don't know why he's doing it, but if you die on the way, you do not collect those cells. As well as this, this is what makes the game great. You see this right here? This is a blueprint. Blueprint acquired blood sword. So we'll get that blueprint to another sword, but we have to finish the level. That's an upgrade we, we'd like to buy. We're going to come back and buy it hopefully when we get 1650. 1650. All right, so this is a weapon. So it's going to be better than the rusty sword one, which it does more damage and also does 50% damage to a poison target. So that's what makes this game great is you have poison damage, you have bleed damage, and you have burn damage in here. And you try to get all these combos going. Well, 
now we have a sword that does a little more damage and if they're poisoned it does a little more damage and i got to figure out why my controller keeps doing that it is beyond annoying right so i'm i'm used to playing a little different because i've got a higher level character and i'll show you that later but maybe i just play this and we'll have a series on this game and people like it enough. this game's amazing this game is amazing so everybody's got their own attacks you can see this guy these poison guys will launch at you you'll see they do that launch and that's it we kill them this guy right here all he does is does that he doesn't attack you with anything but that that ball so once you learn everything it's kind of like cuphead and dark souls right once you learn it you you'll you'll get better at it you'll figure out how to dodge them uh, and this right here is something else that you'll get later that we can do later but we can't do it right now because we just started a fresh game it makes sure it's over there all right so we got money and we want to go back over there and get that upgrade and i'll show you the upgrades when i get one how they work that's another thing that's cool about this game is upgrades so we can't buy any of them which would be great to buy if we could so we have this shield guy now who you can't attack in the front very annoying do I S in the back? We don't open doors either. We bust through them. All right, here's an upgrade. Let me get this. This is a little bit of money. So this is another thing that makes this game great. Is we're going to take this scroll of power. When we pick this up, we can upgrade either red items, purple items, or green items. You see, and those items, those colors, will do 15% more damage. So you're leveling up the items that you're getting on this run. So this is what makes this game great, is every time you play it, it's a little different. Like, you might have red items you have, you might have a green item, you might have purple. Uh, also, green, and also you want to level up your health. So you see if we level up green, we'll get 60% more hit points, but we don't have any green items. So red item is pretty good, but I'm going to go with purple, because purple is our range, and we get 50% more damage with our bow and 40% more hit points. So we'll do that. Now, if you look uh, to my, my health at the bottom left, it says 1, 2, 1. The number two indicates that we have leveled up. We've leveled up the uh, purple to two. All right, so now we can get out of here. This is the next level. We can end it. But there's also two exits on this level. And also, we didn't clear this level. So, And also, we're screwed because we jumped down here. We can't... Okay. So can we not get back up? I want to go... You always, I always want to finish these levels so we can unlock as much as we can. And there's random stuff like this. Sometimes this guy... I think this guy gives us some food. There's all kind of stuff you'll, you'll discover, but you can't unlock it till later. So some stuff will seem useless, but at one point, you'll be able to use it. You'll be able to figure it out. It also has different, uh, it's kind of like New Game, New Game Plus. Once you beat it on this normal, you unlock hard. Uh, I have beat the game on normal, and I've unlocked hard, and it's very hard. So, and also, when I beat it, there's it's a 3% achievement uh, when you beat it. So, there's not a whole lot of people that have beat this game. It's very, very hard. Very fun. Very addicting. All right, so I'm going to pick this up. This is a trap. So, that's a uh, sign to my right trigger. And you see it's got purple and green. It's got a little bit of green in it. But it throws two traps, and it does damage, and it holds them in place for almost seven seconds. It's amazing. Uh, so we're gonna I'm not sure if we're gonna get that or this other thing. Let's let's we're gonna come back. Let's 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 go over here. This game's all about choices. Like I said, every time you play it, oh we can't go there. Alright, so we're done. We have to go so I guess the other place we can't get to till we level up uh, some stuff. So we can either uh that's the shop right there with the coin and go buy some or we can get this upgrade. I think I'm gonna go over here. Uh, and buy this thing. So here's another thing. So here's how you teleport. You hit this, and we can teleport to any of these places that we've been. How amazing is that? That's cool, right? And you see there's an area right there that that we haven't got to. That's another thing is if you look, there should be a rune on the ground. Anyway, there's, there's a lot of ways to go eventually. But when you first start out, you can't go many ways. So... Anyway, let's go get this. I want to get this right here. This Sinew Slicer. Uh, it fires spinning blades at nearby enemies and inflicts bleeding. So as you can see, our our sword uh, does more damage to a poison target. Our bow does nothing, really. Our trap does nothing extra. And the Sinew Slicer 
uh, causes bleeding damage, and it also pierces the first target. So it'll shoot at an enemy, and then keep going uh, and continue and shoot the next person. So it, it's very good. My controller is messing up. That sucks. All right, so let's get out of here, and I'm gonna show you what happens when you level up, when you uh, upgrade. So we finished the level. We have eight cells. So you want to beat all those little levels in. Cause you get you get the sales. You could also spend your money. So this guy right here, we'll go skip it. Cause whatever. So you see, he he just gave us a new blueprint called Blood Sword because we collected it. So that's what's amazing about this game is that right there, the Blood Sword is a blueprint that we just got. And every time you play it, not every time, but a lot of the times you uh, you get these blueprints that go here, and they can be melee weapons they could be range weapons they can be mutations which we'll go over in a minute they can be uh abilities they can be traps they can be uh, ability uh, they can be all kind of stuff it's crazy so as you can see the only thing we can upgrade it tell is telling you right now look you need a health class so we're gonna put five of these cells into this so it takes five to unlock it so we just unlocked health class so if you look now you see we have lb and i can hit lb Hold it down and heal. So now we have one healing potion per level. So per level, you have one healing potion. And we have three more cells. So we can put it in the 50. That it, So now it takes 50 to upgrade to two. We can put it there or we can put it in the gold reserves. The gold reserves means when you die, you can preserve 3,000. So if I have 2,000 and I die, the next time I play, I'll start from the beginning, but I'll have 2,000. So that's really good. Uh, random bow, random shield, random melee weapon. Recycling is really good too because if you're playing and you come across an item you don't want, which is going to happen a lot, you can sell it and get money. Right now you can't do anything. Uh, all these things. So there's the blood sword. So this is uh, another weapon, and what this does is it unlocks this weapon for future runs. So once you have once you have this weapon, we'll put three in it. So once I put two more in this future runs i'm gonna be able to get the blood sword um very cool i have no idea what's going on right there all right so now we're gonna go over here and you see this person right here she is the mutator woman what she lets you do is look at this you choose one mutation so this is certain things that your character that helps your character like you see my my bow and arrow only has six ammo well i can give it twice the ammo so i can give it 12 ammo if i want or i can give 30 percent help this is the main one i get at first right here it, it's basically one extra life so when you die you come back to life uh saves you once in the event of a premature death this one right here gives you health every time you kill an enemy uh this right here gives me cooldown on my purple uh, not grenades. Grenades are red. So you get 37% uh, cooldown negative on those. They have a timer. If you look, you see it's that. But if I put a point in it, they're going to be much less than that. Uh, you can do it with grenades. You can do all this stuff. So that's another thing when you play the game is these mutations. You unlock blueprints for mutations. So this right here will be loaded with stuff in future runs. And you'll have, to, you'll have a hard time picking sometimes. But it all depends on the build that you're building for that run. Like I said, every time you play it, it's a little different. Uh, every time. This is a really good one right here because this one gives you a little bit of health uh, as you kill. And also, remember those skulls, I were, those uh, skills, I, those scrolls I, were pick, I was picking up, right? Where you can level up your red, purple, or green. Well, if you get this and you level up your green, it'll go from, hey, you'll recover three hit points. Every, every time you and then you level up again hey you, you recover four so that can become pretty good if you keep leveling up green it is an incredible game and i'm gonna end this video right here i'm gonna pick this and uh i'm gonna end the video and if people like it maybe we'll keep going and we can refill our flask right here that's it that's the first video on dead cells this game's amazing